Hi there, it's been a while since I made a video. Uh, I had a lot of marking to do and a lot of other stuff, but I thought um, that one thing that seems to become popular on YouTube or is popular on YouTube are reaction videos and reviews. And I thought I'd like to try something like that myself and the new version of Amaris, which is version 9.9 .9, and there might be 9.91 now, has just come out. Now I was a big user of Amaris for, for a long, long number of years, so uh, full disclosure here, I am a fan of, of, of Bitplane's Amaris software. But I haven't looked at uh, Amaris since about version 7, I think, was the last one that I purchased. So I'm a good few versions behind as I've started to use MHJ and Fiji more for teaching. But I thought it might be useful to have a look at what's new in Amaris. Um, I, all I've done so far is I've loaded up, I've installed it, I've put some data there that I'm going to look at. Um, so you'll get my first, uh, my reaction to it. And um, let's see what it's like. Okay, so I've loaded in three individuals, uh, three sets of data. These are TIFF files um, that are the nucleus and two stains, uh, uh, two receptor stains in these prostate cancer cells. And you you open up the new MRs and you're in this arena, and I have not seen this arena before. Um, I guess it's just a place where you drop your images. Um, if I go to the surpass window, this is a lot more familiar to me as um, MR is. You can see it's the demo here because it says it all over the screen. We've got a nice size bar down here. Um, and this looks pretty much as I remember it. Nice, uh, a nice sectioning menu. Uh, oh, but look, the... I really like this. The, the orthogonal section is particularly good in, in MRS. Um, it has this extended focus option that if you if you pull out the calipers you see an extended focus XZ or YZ view. Now this is not the greatest of data sets but you'll notice that if you look either the, to, to the side or to the bottom, as I open out these calipers, you bring in more and more of the data. So you're actually seeing an extended focus orthogonal section. And I think that's really cool. And that's one thing that I've always really liked about MRS, and I'm not sure that that's available in any plugin for Fiji or MHJ, but you know, drop a comment if, if, if I'm wrong. So that's the orthogonal section. Terrific. I'm looking for the simulated fluorescence projection option, but I don't see it. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll come across it. The 3D view uh, window. Yeah, we need to put in a new volume. Okay, so there's our volume. We can change the, the brightness and contrast uh, various aspects here by going to dis image display properties or something is it uh, show display adjustment yeah show display adjustment oh it pops up here it pops up this little window and you can switch off uh, the various channels maybe just look at the, the nuclei and you can change the the, you know, the brightness and contrast can squeeze them a little bit so yeah it's nice to be able to do that live on the on the 3d window I'm gonna bring this red up a little bit so that's the display adjustment um, well the other the other thing you should probably be aware of is the image properties which are there and you can set the size of your data and the colors of the channels Nice. Now the one thing that MRS was always really nice at was making surfaces. Um, 
so there's our volume it's an oblique slice so there's an orthogonal oh yeah the orthogonal orthogonal slices are quite let's do a, an xy orthogonal view um, and there you can see we can move the orthogonal view up and down I actually did a, a YouTube video on Emara's viewer which is a free viewer that you can get access to it might still be able to get access to that um, you can view your own data um, and you can view the orthogonal views and you can you can do some 3d rendering which is quite nice I'll take that orthogonal slice off um, let's try and make a, a segment yeah a surface so what's this add new spots I don't want to do that I want to add a new surface okay so uh, let's do the nuclei first um, skip and do it automatic uh, manually well, well let's just let it do it kind of automatically um, I think we just hit this little blue button down here as I remember channel one is what we want yep I uh, don't know why I've got this orthogonal plane here is it that yeah um, okay yeah so we'll use absolute intensity we'll do the blue channel um, let me switch the other channels off and the display adjustment just so we know what we're looking at uh, guess we go to the next one here right okay so it uses a histogram method and oh that's nice I like that oh, that's really nice I, I presume you need to have quite a good processor um, but that uh, that's pretty impressive I must say I do like that um, so you can adjust your your threshold and you can see the segmentation that you're going to get there so I know that there's a bit of flare in these these data sets so there's the nuclei are probably probably around about there okay let's go to the next one see what we get oh it's done some analysis oh that's nice oh look at that that's lovely and can we pull this what can we do? Oh, that's lovely. Oh, it shows you the selected objects. And you can select them based on, I don't know, maybe size or intensity. I like that. That's really nice. Okay, let's select them all. Oh. Oh, distance from the origin. Oh, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Well, this is um, considerably more advanced than a couple of versions ago. So, yeah, I'm pretty impressed with this so far. That's really nice. Look at that. That's lovely. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Uh, let me switch off the volume and see what I'm left with. Oh, nice solid objects like them all to be blue though okay that's nice um, let's try and put the cells around them shall we so that would be adding another surface um, I want to create another s create another surface yes okay uh, we'll do the green this time don't know why that keeps popping up I don't want that Okay, so the green channel, which is some alpha adrenoceptor staining. Uh, okay, oh yeah, it does that again. That's nice. I must say, I do like that. So the, this would really be all the, all all of the cells, and they are they're actually connected. These wee cancer cells like to like to live in a group. Uh, so that's quite nice. I would want to make that transparent somehow, though. Um, Let's continue on and is it doing a bit of calculation? Okay, yeah, it's only found yeah a few few little blobs that, rather than all the individual cells, but fair enough. 
Okay, I don't want them to be pink, I would rather them to be green. That's nice. Um, so I would want to make the green transparent. Uh, that would probably be in the colour option. Uh, I normally I would expect to find uh, an opacity slider here, but I don't see anything. There's some different materials. Oh, that's nice. Well, I like that. It's like glass. Okay, that would take an age to do that in Maya. Huh, that's really nice. Lovely. Oh yeah, I really like that. I guess that must be... It must be a replacement for the old opacity slider. But maybe the opacity slider is... Is, is somewhere else. How do I move the... Can I move the old data set to the side? I don't know. Okay, anyway, that's lovely. Uh, okay, one, uh, there was just three channels, so let me just stick another surface in for the red one. Yep, we'll just let it do it by itself. Uh, it's a red channel. Smooth it, yeah, we'll let it, we'll let it stay smooth. It keeps popping that thing in there, I don't know why it's got that. Alright, so there's my red channel, which I really just want the brightest stuff here. Yeah, those little clusters there. Maybe there. Oh, and it's identified them all as individual objects, and I guess there's a bunch of analysis that it will do on those objects. Nice. Oh, that's really nice. Sorry about that. Should have had the phone off. I'm going to make them red. That's really nice. Okay, so automated segmentation works really, really nicely. And I've noticed up here there is a co-localization option. I uh, haven't played with, uh, haven't played with this before. But that's nice. Look, you get a pixel fluorogram. Um, and presumably this is the thresholding. Oh, and it changes the area that you're looking at in the pixel fluorogram. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. And presumably that white area is the co-localized area. And it uh, gives us Pearson's correlation. Mander's coefficients, how much of A is overlaps with B, how much of B overlaps with A and so on. Um, and the histogram mode, single slice. So I guess it's whatever slice we're looking at. Yeah, you see as we so change the slice, you see the pixel fluorogram up here changes. Yeah, from no colocal. Yeah, oh, wow. That's really nice. And if, what's this one? Oh, that must be an accumulation of all of the pixel fluorograms. Yeah, because it doesn't move when you slice. Lovely. That's, that's impressive. I like that. Uh, the animation tab. Um, yeah, I don't really have time to, to look into this, but looks familiar from the old version. You will set some keyframes and presumably move your model and add another keyframe and move it again and add a, a keyframe. Say how many frames you want. That looks really nice. Lovely. Um, Vantage, what's that? <clears throat> oh, it looks like some sort of analysis package. Oh, it's doing some calculations and oh, giving me some graphs. Good. Okay, don't really have time to go into this because you probably don't want to see a great big long video, I don't imagine. Um, 
Look, on, f on first impressions, I, I think this looks terrific. It's certainly got a lot more than the version 7 or 8 that I had before. Um, terrific, yeah. So, well done, Bitplane, Imaris. It's looking like uh, the software just keeps getting better and better. Well, I hope you got. I hope you enjoyed that. You got something from my very brief look at Imara's 9.9. Um, that was a free demo that they make available. I highly recommend you download the free demo, have a look at it yourself with your own data sets. I th think you'll be pretty impressed. See you next time.